What if the chain everyone thought was overhyped is quietly taken over the most important race in technology and artificial intelligence and massive on-chain compute and nobody is ready for it? And what if the numbers now show it's not all hype? Today, something unusual is happening in the blockchain world and it's not about price, drama or promises. It's about real, measurable development. The only thing that actually shows whether a project is useful or not. And in the last 30 days, the Internet Computer Protocol, or ICP, or the World Computer, didn't just keep up with artificial intelligence-focused blockchain ecosystems, it poured away. And according to fresh data from Sandman, ICP accounts for the highest share of developer activity among the top 10 chains building artificial intelligence and big data systems. And once you see the size of that lead and what it actually means, you might understand why a lot of builders are quietly paying attention. Because this shift isn't about coding activity. It connects to something deeper. Why the chain was built the way it was and why it suddenly become a place where artificial intelligence systems, data heavy apps and full web scale services actually fully run 100% on chain. So today, we break down the numbers, the reasons, the architecture, and the bigger picture behind why ICP is starting to separate from the rest, and why this might mean for the future of blockchain-based compute. And over the past month, Sentiment tracked the top 10 ecosystems pushed into artificial intelligence and big data development. These are not small players. These include Chainlink, Ni, Oasis, Filecoin, LivePeer, Peer, The Graph, and others who are working on data infrastructure, compute, oracles, and decentralized artificial intelligence tools. But in this group, there's one chain that sits at the top of the mountain, and ICP, the Internet Computer Protocol, War Computer, holds 31.25% of the entire development activity across the top 10 projects. That means nearly one third of all building in the artificial intelligence and large compute category is happening on the internet computer blockchain. And right behind is Chainlink at 30.78%, close but still second, they're near at 12.05%, Oasis at 6.42%, Filecoin at 4.02%, and you can see the list as it goes down. But, but when one chain commands almost a third of that total development, it says something about momentum. And when that chain is also the only one built to run full artificial intelligence systems and web apps directly, fully, 100% on-chain without using a centralized cloud, that momentum, it starts to make sense. Because that very simple reason why ICP developers are building so much, the chain gives them a playground where they can do things that other chains just can't do without stitching together external systems. And the story goes back years. Because you know why? ICP was created with a goal that sounded unrealistic at the time. Run actual software directly on chain at the actual speed of Web2. No servers, no AWS, no traditional centralized cloud, just smart contracts that can store data, serve web content, and run complex decentralized computations without relying on anything that's centralized. Back then, the idea of a blockchain hosting full web apps sounded like marketing. But today, the network processes more than 600 million queries per day. And the usage isn't just growing, it's growing without causing unpredictable execution fees. That's because ICP is deterministic. The cost of executing compute on the network doesn't swing wildly like gas fees on typical EVM chains like Ethereum or such. It's stable, predictable, and scalable. That's also why developers building AI agents and heavy analytic tools are moving there. AI is not light. It doesn't run on tiny amounts of compute. It eats storage in its constant, stable execution. And if the environment changes every time fees spike or the network gets busy, AI workloads, they break apart. And ICP structure avoids that. Its smart contracts, which we call canisters, don't act like small containers on most chains that only say run on logic. On ICP, the canisters store data inside them. They don't need external databases, indexing services, or oracles just to function like Coin Chainlink. 
They're self-contained. Everything the app needs is inside the contract itself. That reduces complexity, cuts out any points of failure, and helps systems behave in actual predictable ways. It also makes the future of AI development more straightforward. And I'll tell you why it's key. Because when an artificial intelligence agent on ICB trains on data, runs inference, responds to user input or updates itself, it doesn't need external servers. And we're heading into the AI productivity boom and the AI agent boom in 2026. The agent, it doesn't need to bounce between off-chain compute bridges and client endpoints. It simply runs. This is one of the main fundamental reasons the chain has been scaling horizontally instead of getting congested like typical blockchains that cram everything into that single one network. ICB grows by adding more subnets. It can add subnets infinitely. Each subnet increases capacity. Today, there are more than 50 active subnets and more are being added as demand for compute continues rising. This architecture lets developers build like they're building web services, not limited by traditional blockchain constraints. And that's why the network has started attracting larger organization. Some enterprise level companies and institutions are already deploying backend system storage and compute workloads on ICP. I'm sure they are testing the water. You know, there's a lot of things happening behind the scene. And in the years to come, it's definitely going to come to fruition somewhere or another where through caffeine, enterprise adoption, government adoption, you know, when we've got like the Switzerland already talking about not trusting the centralized, chest, chest, centralized um, organizations, it's coming out more and more. And it's just, and obviously it's a formality. So not because of hype, but because it's ICP structure itself supports things that normally live on massive cloud platforms. And this brings us back to the core trend behind the recent surge in development activity as you saw, ICP aligns with what artificial intelligence actually needs. That's fundamental, not buzzwords, not hype, not token pumped, because real AI systems require four things that are massive. Consistent compute, large amounts of data storage, predictable execution, and fast response times. Most chains weren't designed with this in mind when they were built. They just added artificial intelligence layers on top they stitch in off-chain compute. They build bridges and dependencies to cloud services. But ICP's base layer was built around the idea of computation, not speculation. That's why the sudden rise in development isn't an accident for the blockchain. It's an indicator of what developers actually want them building when building AI. And as AI systems move from niche tools to global infrastructure, having a place where they can run openly, safely, and without centralized intermediaries, it matters, and it matters a lot, especially in a world where cloud platforms hold more power than entire governments. And where a small handful of companies control the majority of AI models, data, and storage. ICP offers something different, a way for artificial intelligence systems to exist on public, decentralized infrastructure where not one single company controls the environment. Now let's talk in depth the challenge this ecosystem faces, because every time a new wave of development shows up, it runs into a very old problem, public understanding. Unfortunately, most people still see blockchains through the lens of speculation. They focus on tokens, price charts, the price keeps going down. You know, once it gets to nine, $10, it's gonna go to 100, now it's $3. It's a scam chain, blah, blah, blah. And you know, basically the headlines, of the bio of the price makes them obviously give the thesis on the ecosystem. But ICP and building AI on a decentralized runtime isn't about prediction or price or chart. It's about engineering. Here's a challenge that most users don't see the back end. They don't see the infrastructure needed to make artificial intelligence run. We're at the start of the AI productivity boom. They don't see the constant compute demand or the storage requirements that's needed. They see outputs, apps, interfaces. So when a chain builds compute power that isn't flashy or visually exciting, it often gets overlooked. It's like laying down, say, fiber optic cables and nobody notices until everything suddenly becomes faster. This is why the ecosystem's at a crossroads. On one hand, we have developers who are building more than ever and the numbers obviously prove it. On the other hand, much of the world hasn't understood what this actually means yet. 
They haven't realized that running AI directly on chain isn't a thought experiment anymore. It's happening. Yes, it's small models and those models are gonna enhance, but it's just a matter of time, which leads to the pivotal moment in the story, the point where everything connects. Artificial intelligence is entering a phase where it needs strong, decentralized foundations, not patched together compute, not dependencies of bridges and a handful of corporations, not models locked behind private walls. That chain that can offer large scale compute, storage and deterministic behavior are the ones that will matter in the long run. And right now, Internet Computer Protocol or the world computer is showing signs of coming one of the few where those ecosystems and systems can actually operate in the open. Not because someone claimed it, because the data actually shows it. I'm talking about the real data. Developers are building on it. And because the architecture supports it in a way, that's where in Web3. Not financial advice, ICP is the beating heart of Web3 future. And here's a real turning point in all this. The majority of meaningful artificial intelligence and big data developments, say across the top chains, is now happening on ICP. Not because of marketing, not because of hype, not because of price action, but because the developers found a place where AI systems actually run at scale. A place where compute, storage, and the web itself merge inside an actual decentralized blockchain environment. And once you realize this question isn't, why is the development rising? The real question becomes, what happens when the first wave of on-chain AI agents, apps, and full web services on ICP start going mainstream. Once we launch with Caffeine AI, and that gets into like 500,000 and million users. What happens when that story shifts? When everyone becomes a builder, you own your own data through orthogonal persistence. Because when the underlying infrastructure changes, and they're the only ones that are building a product that is highly valuable in the, in, in the crypto sphere, everyone built on top changes with it. So here's the core message in all of this. The latest data suggests developers choosing the environment that fits the needs of real AI systems. And ICP is becoming one of the strong examples of that shift. And once Caffeine AI gets into mainstream adoption, it's not just about being active. It's about building the kind of compute layer that can run global scale systems. You know, we're talking websites, we're talking about applications and seeing how these pieces fit together might change the way you look at the future of decentralized AI. And with that, the picture becomes clearer because ICP isn't moving fast because of hype. It's moving fast because its architecture matches the demand of modern compute. And that's the story behind the surge in the data. So stay curious and let your journey continue. Everything explored today shows you how quickly the tech world can shift when real development leads the way. And if this change how you see the centralized compute even just a little, then you're already ahead of most people watching this space. Remember, the choice you make today shapes tomorrow's story. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and until next time, if this video inspired you like it has for me, like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment. And remember, stay alert, stay informed, and stay decentralized, and I'll see you on the internet computer. Peace out.